Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. The most fear promo doesn't drop until 1 30 p.m eastern time today but ea actually made some changes to some of the cards and i gotta say they did good now i do want to give a shout out to ethan h for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel to notification blonde and comment down below noti gang also want to say shout out to you guys that kept my picks last night again i only did one college football pick just like i did two nights ago we ended up hitting on also last night we hit on that so congrats to the copiers and we also had some payout booster specials last night we took the lower on brianna stewart she went way lower if you guys have not already checked out underdog fantasy now is the perfect time to do so if you sign up right now using code zerk they will double your first deposit up to 500 and you'll get two 0.5 specials you'll get lebron 0.5 point special for tuesday with kickoff there with the nba which yes i will be making picks there and you guys will get this Derek carr 0.5 total yard special for tonight Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. I'll make them later this afternoon once we get some more information on if Trevor's like 100% to go. By the way, guys, a nice little update on the Isaiah Palomao. In case you guys uh, went ahead and you got this card last night, a lot of people were tweeting me about a couple things with this card. But if you missed it, you can't get in now, right? The only way to actually get this Isaiah card was to watch the MCS stream last night. It was one stream. You had to be in there, watch for two hours, whatever. I also know that a lot of people, you know, have claimed their stuff. Some people just didn't get their stuff yet. This happens every single time. I will tell you this. Reach out to EA Help. Reach out to me. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do for you. I have zero EA connections. Reach out to EA Help. See if maybe you can get some assistance there. Uh, you didn't get your drops there, but... I don't know. I also know that sometimes it just takes a little bit to come in. Uh, but it seems like every single time with like the MCS promo when they do like the Twitch stuff and you got to claim everything, sometimes drops just don't come. Uh, it just happens. But I did get my Isaiah Palomao after about an hour, I think it was, after claiming him last night. Did get the card right here. Uh, maybe EA will add like a pack in the store or something for you guys to go ahead and get him. I don't know. We'll find out. But 89 speed, 88 XL, 6 foot 4. This is an incredible user card. He also has 88 man up to 91 zone. My strategy card, 88 hit power, uh, 91 change direction on the card. And then block shed is a 72. Now, a couple things though, when the card first came out, he did not have most feared chem. They fixed that very quickly. So yes, he does get most feared chem. Uh, abilities wise, you know, flat zone KO gets like pick artist, lurker, whatever you want to run on him. Personally, I'm just not going to run anything on him, but I will be using him. We'll let you guys know though. I do plan on doing a gameplay today when most feared part two does drop. Uh, over on Xerxes 2, so Isaiah Palomao, he will be a part of that gameplay, but I wanted to showcase the card here. Next up, though, we need to talk about Most Feared Part 2, which again is dropping later today at 1.30 p.m., because EA made some changes to some of the cards, and I gotta say, a little bit interesting to decide to do so. I feel like maybe they are listening to the feedback that we all had of, hey, uh, this promo's not all that crazy good, right? Part one wasn't really all that crazy. Part two doesn't really seem to be all that crazy, but obviously Jamar Chase is one of the most sought after cards and will be one of the most sought after cards uh, of today. What did they change on Chase? Well, they didn't change his speed. It's still 91, so don't worry. They didn't make him slower, but they did add three jumping to the card. Not much of a difference there. Uh, they took away two catching traffic, so went from 84 to 82. Also, 84 catch traffic wasn't really that great to begin with, so to be honest, not really that big of a difference there. Uh, did give him three more spectacular catch. So we went from 89 spec catch to 92. And then he got plus three to short route running. He had 87. So now he's going to be at 90. Is that really that big of a difference? Uh, maybe not so much, to be honest with you guys. If you play on the all Madden difficulty, I do believe that 85 is kind of the threshold for the routes. And then once you get over 85, it's not much of a difference until you get to like, you know, 99, all that. Uh, but, you know, getting the 90 cool you know maybe it does make a difference we'll find out he also did get a plus one to medium route running up to 88 that changes nothing and that is it for chase so essentially minus two catch traffic plus three uh to short routing kind of the biggest differences in my opinion so that's jamar chase but they updated to him geno smith though might have got to be honest with you guys the biggest difference here plus six speed he had 82 speed when they revealed him yesterday. And as I told you guys, you know, in my video, essentially with 82 speed, it doesn't really throw him into the conversation of being, you know, one of the top quarterbacks in the game because he doesn't get Hiram Master, but of course he does get Gunslinger. Well, now Geno Smith has 88 speed with good throwing stats and 89 throw power. 
that definitely puts him in the conversation for one of the best QBs. Now, if you guys didn't know, essentially, if you put on Gunslinger on a quarterback right now, it doesn't really matter what release they have. They pretty much all have the same exact release. So now, with that Geno Smith getting 88 speed, well, compared to Jared Goff, he's way better than Jared Goff because the only difference in them is essentially going to be the speed there. They get the same abilities. Brock Purdy, he's better than Brock Purdy, who has 84 speed. Joe Montana gets Hiram Master, so that's a different conversation. Josh Allen, this is also a little bit different conversation because, you know, you have the unstoppable X factors there. Uh, does have a little bit better throw power and has 87 speed. I'd imagine it's also just better in general when you do actually run there. Justin Fields, this is also a very, very similar quarterback there. So I would say that Fields is better, uh, but he's better than Trevor. He's better than Tua. You could even say he's better than Andrew Luck now as well. So Geno Smith, uh, definitely, arguably a top five QB in the game now. So that one, I got to say, is a big time change. I'm sure Seahawks theme teams, you guys are super excited for that one right there. Next up, though, we have Amani Hooker. Now, I also mentioned Amani yesterday, and I was comparing him to Buda Baker. And pretty much the only difference in between him and Buda Baker was the height. He's one inch taller than Buda. And then the hit power is nowhere close to uh, Buda Baker, right? So why would you go and pick up Imani Hooker? Well, they decided to change Imani as well. They gave him plus one to speed. So he now actually has a speed advantage over the Buda Baker. Uh, they also did give him plus one to excel, plus one to zone, and minus one to play rec. So in terms of like, which one should you go with now? Well, I feel inclined to say Amani because he's faster, right? And that's obviously really, really big. The plus one of zone doesn't matter too much. Going from 91 to 92, like whatever. Hit power, obviously, still not anywhere as good as Buddha. Uh, but personally, I don't really see that many fumbles this year. Just, I, I get like more fumbles off strips than I do hit sticks. So I will probably make that swap now that Amani Hooker is actually faster up to 90 speed and 92 excel. So I do like that change. And then the final one, guys, is Jonathan Allen. Now, very, very weird, to be honest, the guys, the way they decided to boost this Jonathan Allen, because I thought, if anything, they would boost him to where he could get inside stuff. They didn't, but they boosted his block shed. So, number one, he gets plus five speed, so that's good. He's up to 77 now from a, from a 72. He got plus three to excel, so he's up to an 80 now from a 77, and then he is, still has 89 strength, 91 tackling. They minus one play rec, so he's down from an 88 to an 87, and then they did give him plus two block shed, up to a 92, which normally would get you inside stuff on run stopper DTs. Jonathan Allen is a power rusher where you need 94. So they essentially just made him a better pass rusher and added two block shed just for fun there. So made him a better pass rusher by adding speed to him. You know, Washington theme teams, you guys should be pretty excited about that. Amani Hooker, nice change there. You know, gave him more speed, more excel, gave him a zone. Geno plus six speed is crazy. And then Jamar Chase essentially just got him the 90 short route running, added some spectacular catch, took away two catching traffic. So with that being said, guys, those are the changes to the most feared cards. Again, drops at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time later today. Also, the MCS Isaiah Paul. Uh, we'll be doing a gameplay with him, Jamar Chase, and honestly, maybe Geno Smith now. I wasn't even planning on that, but now that Geno has plus six speed, I think we might have to pick him up for the gameplay too. Let me know down below which cards you want me to pick up for the gameplay, and I will catch you guys later today when Most Feared Part 2 drops in the game. Follow me over on Twitter. May do some underdog picks here soon if they give us some more info on Trevor. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.